Shock Therapy out here at AZOP's race in Page, Arizona, and driving Shock Therapy uh, turbo car for the day. AZOP is badass because it's a family event. It is basically, uh, it, it's for all. It's easy to do, it's inexpensive, it's fairly local. So if, if any other racing is gonna cost a lot more, it's gonna be uh, a lot more work, certainly a, a lot less fun. And I think that this is probably the best bang for the buck no matter what kind of racing you're running. It's a thousand dollar pro purse. First place was 500, provided by the uh, Auto Repair. Here's your trophy. He's going to count you out five large bills. My name is Craig Simmons. I'm, I'm the owner of the NB Auto Repair and Antelope Slot Game Tours. And my wife and I, we sponsor our race team here. It's pointless racing. Uh, then we also back up AZOP and all the local events with a thousand dollar pro purse. We're here in beautiful Wickenburg, Arizona for the opening round of the 2016 AZOP Hair Scramble Series. The long winter break is over and man, woman, and machine are set to do battle on the 30 mile loop course in the unrelenting Sonoran Desert. Rob Van Beekham with r r Steel has generously paid for all the UTV entrance fees, resulting in 53 UTVs heading to the starting line. Sit back and hold on. It's bound to be an exciting day of racing in the Arizona desert. The 2016 Vulture Mine Hair Scrambles, presented by r r Steel. The cinders are like redneck sand dunes. It's just a bunch of little lava rocks. It's really easy to get out of control. Um, unless you've ridden in the cinders, it's kind of hard to explain. It's nasty. A lot of whoops, ruts, tree stumps that are all over that you really have to worry for and watch out. And besides that, it's something you just got to come experience and figure it out. He's out here days before the race and and mink, you know, mingling with everybody and talking and you know wants to know all his racers and see how everything's going and. You know, he wants to almost know him on a personal level, which, you know, is awesome. A Grand Prix style race. Uh, the race is about 11 miles long. Pretty rough and dry for the most part, until the last lap started getting dumped on some rain and it turned out pretty fun. Two thousand sixteen Cinder Mountain Hair Scrambles by AZOP Racing. See you here next year. Be there. Shut up and sit down.
Grazio people, a lot of work looked at this area and it's beautiful up here. I mean, 7,100 foot elevation and uh, the land, there's a lot of history around here. There's, you know, farming and ranching up at this altitude. And uh, it was so cool to be able to put on an event here. Uh, they got with the townspeople. They loved the idea. A lot of rules and regulations that went along with putting on a race here. And uh, AZOP was able to, to follow the guidelines and, and keep everybody happy. Before somebody else takes you out of the frame and put your name to shame, cover up your face. You can't run the race, the pace is too fast, it just won't last. Then in the bike class, we had, oh gosh, a couple riders come from, uh, come from California, and uh, one of them, uh, riding a 125, almost won uh, the open class yesterday on a 125, and that was Curtin Cooper. Mind you, the UTVs start in rows, and all these rows are 15 seconds time. So the one row goes off, 15 seconds later, the next row goes off. So whether you're in the same class or not, it's all time, and it all gets put together at the end on how you finish. Uh, we thought that Dean Wheeler won by five seconds, which is extremely close for a 50 minute race, but in actuality, Daniel Roberts. took the win by two seconds. What's so nice about Aesop nowadays, all our riders are becoming family members. It's becoming a family organization. Somebody breaks, they have a spare part, they come over to try to help them. Uh, they try to show somebody how to do a particular thing in their racing, uh, their racing format. And uh, some of the sponsors are coming on board and helping a whole magnitude of riders that are involved with the AZOP program. So things are coming, to, coming in, a, in a slow but steady, steady way. And uh, we're looking at this particular Grand Prix compared to the very first Prescott Valley. And we exceeded both spectator and racer numbers from the very first Prescott Valley Grand Prix. Second one next year, we'll try to exceed the Prescott Valley one with the numbers there. So with everybody now, spread the word. It's really important. Tell everybody, you come to Mormon Lake, never been raced here before, totally out of the blue. We'll have a whole bunch of new stuff all out in the course. We'll have a bigger course next year, and we'll have some special stuff happening both Fridays and Saturday nights. Bring your family, and let's plan on having a great time next year here at Mormon Lake. My name is Spence Udall. I'm the uh, Vice Mayor of the City of St. John's. We're up in St. John's, Arizona today for the Gravity 100 race. The City of St. John's, we are about 10 miles west of the New Mexico line, about midway up the state. We're a small town. We'd call, I'd call it a quiet town to have you guys in here. It's good for us. It uh, kind of wakes things up a little bit. I sat and watched you guys go through Main Street yesterday. our third year and uh, the first year we uh, it kind of came on fast 
and we were able to get it put together, but with every year we're a little more prepared and, and uh, I expect this to be a long marriage. Uh, it's really good for our town and I, hopefully it's good for the racers and I expect it to be here a long time.